Hi, Grandma Mary here, and I'm here today to talk about how to add a custom tab to your Facebook page. And this is really exciting. I love these custom tabs. If you don't know what the custom tab is, it's these little tabs that show up underneath your cover photo and you can do lots of fancy schmancy things with them you can put in an email opt-in you could you know highlight some of your services some of your products you could do whatever the sky's the limit you've got some that are already built that are kind of uh easy to install like this pinterest one or you can do some custom ones that you design now before we get started some people talk about these custom tabs as not being worth it and why bother. Now that, that can be true. A lot of people don't always visit these custom tabs, but you can showcase them. You can, you can do things like advertise these tabs. You can put, use a link to put in your status update to the tab to highlight them a little more to some of your fans. And I've got a free and easy tab app that you can use. So why not have a little customization of your Facebook page and use one of these tabs to get some leads from Facebook, huh? Who doesn't want it? Who doesn't want more leads into their business? Why not use Facebook to get them? So we're going to talk I'm going to tell you how to do it with a handy little app called Tab Foundry. You can find it at tabfoundry.com. Let's head on over there to take a look, and I just want you to not judge me over the number of tabs I've got open. Do not make me close my tabs. I'm a little bit of a tabaholic, okay? So let's go into the tabfoundry.com, and it's easy to get started. Again, free and easy, two of my favorite words. I'm, I'm a cheap date right there. So all you have to do to get started, it's, it's pretty intuitive, is just click the green Get Started button. Hmm? What am I here for? I'm going to tell you a few more things once we do. But when you click that good Get Started button, don't be scared. It will ask you for some for permissions into your Facebook page. It'll ask you if you want to. It could post for you, if it could control your pages. Don't get nervous by those permissions. They're required by Facebook to install this app. They're not going to get spammy and crazy with you. This is a legitimate good app to use. So I've already gone through that process. I'm going to go ahead and just log in. And logging in is super easy. You don't have to remember any passwords. It logs you in through Facebook. And now once you get into your dashboard area here, you've got the different pages, drop-down menus that you can add, add your page tabs to. So the, I've already selected Grandma Mary here to add my tab to. And what you see is you see all my tabs that I've got. I've got a lot of tabs, a little bit of a tab -a like that way too. I like trying them out. I'm going to create a new tab here and I click that button. And right now they've got custom tab or photo contest. Now they're going to be adding more features here. Right now you could do a photo contest with Tab Foundry. We're going to uh, select the custom tab. So it creates this unpublished tabs area right here. Now you go into Edit Tab, and you get this drag and drop interface that I love that's easy peasy to use. And I have created a few things ahead of time to make this whole process easier. So you may want to think about how your tab is going to look. You can do all kinds of cool things like put in custom colors and then put in some text and some photos and multimedia. But what I've created is I've created a good looking background photo to put in as my background. Now, so if you're going to create something like this, you need to go ahead and do that ahead of time. It's eight, mine is 810 pixels wide by 525 pixels high. And that way it's all above the fold. People don't have to know scrolling, all that kind of stuff. And it uh, looks good. So I'm going to go ahead and select background here. And you could, again, pick that color. But I'm going to upload my background from my photos that I've created before. So I've got this good looking background. And if you, you know, if you're good with graphics, go ahead and, you know, create your own background with whatever graphics package you use. Or 
go ahead and find a designer, a uh, graphics designer. Um, you know, if you don't know any, ask your friends. Uh, there's social identities. Hugh Briss does a great job with that, with that stuff. Um, you know, if you're on a really tight budget, you could go over to Fiverr.com. Uh, they're, they're not bad on a budget, but I like working with someone you're going to work with long term so you can uh, create graphics that all are branded to you. I think investing in good graphics is good for your business. So let's go ahead and add this uh, background here. And I remind people to click the like just in case they're landing on this page from an ad or something like that. I tell them to make sure they click on the like button because it's kind of up in that corner. So you might want to think about your design with that. Now we can add some, uh, I'm going to add a little multimedia here. I'm going to make, I'm going to add a YouTube video. And all you have to do is get the, have the video URL that you're going to put in here. So I'm going to go over to uh, my Meet Grandma Mary video. And I'm going to just uh, cut and paste this um, cut and paste this little video URL. I've gone to the share button here to get the exact URL of this particular video. So now I go in here and I click set and now the handy thing is you can just like drag this, make it a little smaller, drag it where you want it. I want to cover up those words there. I'm going to center it. Okay, looks good. Now I want to get leads from Facebook, right? Don't you want some leads from Facebook? So I'm giving them a little freebie here. Enter your name and email, or enter your email address to get instant access to my social media success report. So what I have is I have this tied to AWeber. Now AWeber is the email delivery service I use, A-W-E-B-E-R.com. Handy little service. You could use something else like MailChimp, or uh, constant contact, you can't put in the little uh, little opt-in like this quite the same way. But you know, there's lots of other great email delivery services out there that you can use. So I'm going to head over to uh, Aweber, and you can see I've, I'm on the signups form button here of of my list, and I created some signup forms before. So again, I worked ahead a little bit. I've got my Facebook page opt-in. I can see already I've got 257 email addresses that have come in through Facebook. I have a separate place where people opt in. So now I know how many leads I'm getting from Facebook. I know how many people are, are opting in. I've got them on a separate list so I can see how well Facebook's working for me. So I've got other lists in other, other places on here, but I, this is the one that's coming directly in from my Facebook uh, page. So now I'm going to head over to into this uh, opt-in and you can see what it looks like. All it is is a the email address form, email address uh, uh, little box and then the submit button. It's super simple. They don't have to give, give me a lot of information about when they were born or anything like that. They can just opt in with an email address. So I'm going to head over to the publish spot and I'm going to install my own form here. I'm, I always like taking the raw HTML version. I just find like sometimes things, things happen that are a little strange sometimes with the JavaScript. So I'm going to head back to tab Foundry. Now I'm going to use the tools area. The, and they actually are already integrated with Aweber, but I'm showing you the kind of the longer way just in case you're using something else. But they're already integrated with Aweber and MailChimp. I'm going to just show you how you add an HTML box here. So now I'm going to paste the uh, paste the form, and now there it is, my little email address. And again, I can drag and drop this. Whoa, drag and drop it over here, make it a little smaller, and I'm going to put it right over here, underneath there. We got the little submit button, prominent. It's looking good. Okay, so there we are. It's it's looking good. I've got a little video, got the place where they enter the email, tell them to click like. I'm going to go ahead and click publish. Now, one other thing I'm going to mention here is they've got also the like gate. Now, that's where you're going to give them something uh, good 
behind your like gate, but they have to like your page first. I like not making it too hard just getting that email address. You know, if they forget to like it, that's okay, I've got their email. So I, for my opt-in, I just like it making it easy, as easy as possible. So now I'm going to click Publish Changes, and there it is. It's on, it's on my Grandma Mary page, and you can also preview it too. I didn't even, I didn't even preview it. I just went for it. So there it is. It's right there. Now I'm going to go ahead and edit it because I want to change that little cover photo as well. So to do that, you click on the name and icon up here, and I'm going to go ahead and edit that tab icon and upload a little tab image. Again, created uh, beforehand, 111 pixels wide by 74 pixels high. I'm going to choose this, uh, choose this one and set it. Now I'm also going to rename it to free stuff. Who doesn't want free stuff, huh? It's free good stuff. This is good stuff. And there we go. We've got the name uh, added. And again, we'll just uh, publish all the changes on there. You can preview it if you want to see it beforehand. It's renamed free stuff. Now, if I want to go ahead and uh, change the location of where that's at to put it in that top row, I have to go down to my page and I'm going to click this down arrow and scroll down to where it shows up down here and I'm going to swap it with my, I'm going to swap it with this uh, free goodies tab here. Is that the one that's, I use so many tabs, no, I'm going to swap it with my Pinterest tab. Now where did it go? <laughs> I, I do a lot of experimenting. I'm going to, I'm going to swap it with Pinterest. So there we go. It's right up here now. It's in that top row. That's the most visible spot. So uh, that's, that's it. Easy peasy. Go out and check out tabfoundry.com and hope that helped and talk to you next time.